Good morning, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Lisa. So I've been a bit MIA on YouTube and I definitely have some explaining to do. Uh, the last time you guys saw me, I was in the States. I am now back home in Switzerland. And we, as you can see, are finally in our home. If you've been following me on this journey for some time now, we have really been dying to get into this house and it's finally come, we're finally here. So last week I kind of took a break from YouTube and filming. Um, I traveled back to Switzerland. I just had a bunch of family things going on and then we moved into the house and it was a very long Easter weekend of moving, cleaning, organizing, all that fun stuff. But we are still in the midst of decorating and finalizing a few things in the house. So I thought it would be fun over the next couple of weeks to take you guys along with me into certain areas of the house and you guys can help me decorate. Also, in my last vlog, I was ending it with saying that I was going to do a, another vlog on my skin prep travel routine. Uh, and I fully intend on doing that and I'm happy that I can do it here in our bathroom where it's very convenient for me. I'm really excited for that one too. But this week's vlog will be a full weekend in my life and you guys are gonna come along with me and do a little bit of shopping here in Switzerland and we will pick out some new things for the kitchen. But now I'm gonna take you guys through the kitchen and show you what we have so far and just the whole layout and just everything that has been done in our new home. is the finished entryway feature wall that I was telling you guys about in my last home renovation vlog. It is absolutely everything that we thought and wanted it to be. It is so beautiful. The backlit mirror here is just like everything, especially for when you leave and it's late in the evening, you can still check yourself and you know have some light coming through. We do have lighting for the entire house here. So this house is very um, tech savvy, I guess you would say. And there's different controls. We can turn off all of the lights in the house. If we forgot upstairs before we are leaving, we can turn it off here. And we also have an app. So it's really cool and a really great feature that I'm excited to start using. This wood slat wall is really, really something that I know my brother-in-law and husband are really proud of. And I think it's just a really great feature. It's not like just another white wall and it ties in really nicely with our beautiful floors that everyone and including myself is obsessed with. And then coming into the kitchen, let me turn on the other lights. So we do have LED lights all across the bottom for the evening if we don't want it to be so bright in here or even during the day, I haven't really been using the overhead light. And then we have all lights finished under the cabinets, which is such a chic and just modern look. As you can tell, we are not limited on storage in here. We have so much storage, which is amazing. And especially since it's not the largest kitchen, it's just kind of a little alcove. It is so nice that we have all of this storage and we don't have things spilling over and there's a place for everything here. Here we have our oven and then this is a steamer, which I still need to figure out how to use. <laughs> but we have these really great Siemens appliances, which very excited to start using. And in Europe, the oven space isn't always the largest, but we've actually lucked out. And with the steamer, it's great. So if we wanna do some veggies in here while something else is cooking in the oven, that's totally possible. And then we have some overhead storage here where we'll keep our air fryer and other things, our grill stuff. Um, just stuff that is a bit larger, that needs some more room. 
Here is actually our fridge, which I love that it blends in with the cabinetry and it doesn't look like a fridge. So in Europe, the fridges are a bit smaller than the US, but we are definitely able to make it work with just the two of us. I think maybe once our family grows a bit, we might need to get another fridge, maybe put that in the basement. But for now, this is perfectly fine for us. And then there's a bit more storage up there. And then this is our freezer, which is really nice because it's actually very large. We have two different storage spots here. And this is actually a larger freezer than usual here. So this is a very nice feature. And then just a bunch of cabinetry where we have all of our dishes, our glasses, things of that nature, our bowls. We have everything organized pretty much already. Um, as you can tell, we are very excited to move in. This is our semen stove top. We actually are still waiting for the team to come in and fill in this area with some grout. The vent is inside of the stove top, so that's really nice. So we do not have any overhead vents. It keeps it a nice, clean look here. So it just, the steam actually goes in rather than up, which is a really cool feature. I'm really usually a gas top girly, so I'm starting, well, I really need to start to get used to this situation. I haven't had this ever in the past, and since moving to Switzerland, I've been able to use it more and to kind of get used to it, but that is the stove top. Then we have some additional storage here. And I have something in here that it's very exciting, our pots and pans that I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then we have our little coffee corner here, which this will be updated. And this is one of the things that we need to pick up that is on my list. I am in between two coffee machines. I'll put them on the screen now. Let me know if you guys have either of these. Um, they're definitely splurge items and I wanna be sure that we get the right thing so let me know your thoughts i don't know if i'll be picking that up this weekend so i definitely have some time but we want to make this a really nice cute coffee corner um maybe not go with an espresso just because i'm kind of over them and i'll get into that later but <laughs> that's going to be our coffee corner some additional storage of course and then this is our sink if you guys saw in my last vlog, I picked up this, which has been really nice to dry things when I'm not putting it in the dishwasher and it keeps it off the counter so it's not getting rid of any counter space. We went with all gold finishes here. As you can tell, I am obsessed with this faucet. It's so beautiful. This situation is definitely something that we're gonna have to fix within this weekend. So we'll be shopping for a nice soap dispenser and like holder situation. And then this is our dishwasher. Again, it's nice and hidden and blends in with the cabinetry, which I love. And it's just a standard dishwasher, always nice to have. Again, all of the gold hardware and just keeping everything seamless and kind of cohesive, which is super nice. We have this really nice window. I always love a window over the sink to be able to look out while doing dishes. So these are some of the other appliances. You've guys heard me talk about this, Thermomix. We're gonna keep this here. It's gonna live here. And then we also got a soda stream, which I have never used and I'm very excited. We love our sparkling water. So we're gonna have to hook this bad boy up and start using it. And then in here we have our caraway pans. You guys, I shipped these from the US. My mom actually got them for us for our wedding present and they are so beautiful in this space. How good does that look? I'll, I'll put up a picture here of uh, some pictures that I was sending my mom. They just look so beautiful and I'm just already envisioning 
guests coming over and having them out and having food being cooked in them and it just looking still so nice and aesthetic and beautiful. So I'm very excited for those. They also came with racks to put them all together and make them lay nicely, but I couldn't put that in this space here just because they would be too tall. So maybe along the line, I'll figure out a situation and somewhere to put them. And then you guys saw that I picked up this from Crate and Barrel when I was home. And that's actually one other thing that we're gonna need to look for today or this weekend. I would like to put all of the matching spatulas and whiskers and all that stuff that I picked up and have them here so they're just convenient and easy to pull from and maybe pick up something of this color in marble just so it looks nice and cohesive and matches so that's another thing on our list today and then one of the last things that we'll need to figure out is this is currently our recycling situation and that's not gonna happen that's not gonna fly so i want to find either a container to put in here or maybe outside of the front of the house probably just in here for now that we can fill that looks aesthetic with all of our recyclables along this wall so we have some space and i think it'd be nice if it was just not an ikea bag if you know what i mean <laughs> but that is our kitchen i hope you guys love it as much as i do so I'm gonna have some coffee right now and just do a little bit of work and then we're gonna head out and we're gonna go to some of my favorite stores here in Switzerland and do some home shopping. I'm definitely gonna create a list that I'll go over with you guys before we head out just so we stay on track and don't try to buy unnecessary things that aren't really needed right now. But yeah, I'm really excited to take you guys along and I hope you guys are excited for the next couple of weeks that I get to reveal the rest of the home to you guys, fully furnished and we can get some decor together and make this house a home for us. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, we are heading out the door. We are going to our first home store location of the day. guys so it is the next day and we are on to day two of shopping for the kitchen 
Yesterday wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be. Um, I'll put up our checklist here. I've only gotten a few things. I still need the soap container, spatula holder, recycling container, bowls, oven mitt. And I did pick up a doormat yesterday, but it's actually not what I was looking for, so I'm gonna have to return it um, and get a new one. So that is also on the list still today. But I did pick up yesterday these really beautiful LSA is the brand wine glasses. I actually have been eyeing these for quite some time and I finally just pulled the trigger. So this is the larger um, red wine glass and then this is the smaller white wine glass and I love them. They are so beautiful. They have this like kind of flattened bottom base and the stem is super thin and long and just really really gorgeous the only problem is when i got home to put them away well first i have to clean them but when i got home to check the spot they're gonna go they're too tall for well actually the smaller ones fit because my husband and i actually lowered this down yesterday but the larger ones don't fit so I'm gonna have to, hopefully, if I lift up the shelf, the top shelf a little bit, let me see if I can show you. That shelf up there, one more, it will fit perfectly. I'm praying, fingers crossed, that they will fit inside. Um, but yeah, so I got six of each of those, which I'm very happy about. They're really beautiful. I love this brand. They're very like, the brand itself is very modern. Um, they're made in Poland, but I just think they're gorgeous. These are like absolutely my dream wine glasses, so got those. And then I also got a little container for our coffee corner, our current coffee corner situation, because as I mentioned, I really want to get a new coffee machine, but I'm still doing some research and making sure that I get the right one. So that's probably not gonna happen this weekend. I just really think that if I'm going to make an investment on an expensive machine and something obviously we use every single day, I want it to be the right one. There's so many different options out there. So again, I put a few clips back of what we were thinking about getting. If you guys have any recommendations, if you have either of these machines, please let me know. Always looking for some more insight on those. So, so I picked up some containers which I think will be good for the current Nespresso pods. I got just this cute little glass jar and it has this really nice wood top which goes nicely with our cabinets. And I will just put the Nespresso pods in there for now. Just to make it more aesthetically pleasing. And then I also got this, which I was thinking, okay, maybe I can put the pods in here. It's a little bit like the same color as our kitchen. It's, just a, it's actually like a flower vase or plant vase. It has these like really cute black specks. It's a cream color, basically matches. It basically matches our um, countertops and backsplash, so I think it would be beautiful, but I guess I will see what the pods look like in here and in the other one. I can use these both interchangeably for different things, so we'll check that out, but super cute. I got these from a store called Jisk here in Switzerland. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else, but they have really cute and different stuff, and they do have a lot of really good affordable prices there, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. And then I also got this doormat, which I need to return. Honestly, it's way too light. It'll just get dirty in two seconds. And the size of it really didn't sit well by the entrance. So I'm going to get a new one. And then I just picked up a tea towel or a hand towel from H&M. I thought the color was really nice. Good price. Probably will get another one. They only had one, so I only grabbed this one. Um, this I will put by the kitchen sink to have to 
dry your hands after. And then this was not on the list, but this is something that my husband was really wanting, so I decided to get it. And it actually matches a nice little serving, serving tray that we have. It's these really beautiful marble sauce holders. I think you could put sauce, or if you have different spices, you can also put them inside. But they come with these adorable little spoons. And then I'll show you guys the tray that it kind of matches with. So this is the tray that I actually got from H&M Home a while ago, probably I think this past winter. And I had it in the apartment and these go perfect. So we were thinking like if we have guests over and we do a little like charcuterie or something in that nature that we need sauces for, really nice and cute. So that was all of the finds yesterday. As you can see, it wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be, but we have another day and we're gonna head out now and we're gonna go searching for the rest of the things on our list. So you guys, this is the final finished product of the kitchen so far. Other than the coffee machine, there's probably not going to be any major updates anymore in here. I feel like I've gotten everything that I really needed. I got my spatula holder. This was the closest marble container that I could find to the crate and barrel um, spatula stand. but. I like it. I feel like it, it goes well in the space and it looks really nice and elevated. And then I also picked up 
this one in the same place, which I was thinking were an option as well, but it was just a little bit too, um, not as wide as this one. So I had to go with the other one, but I feel like I can use this potentially for coffee beans in the future if we do get a machine of that kind or some sugar, you know, something that can go along the lines of coffee. So that I'm gonna hold on to. And then my dish soap dispenser I love. She's really cute. I was looking for something with the gold to kind of match back to the sink, but it's totally fine. I think the color and the wood is enough and I think it fits perfect in the space. And then tea towel you saw. And then I also picked up some bowls, but that was also on the list. Just a few bowls. Also, they have lids, which is great if they want if we want to use them for food storage and not just mixing bowls. And then two oven mitts, which also fit the space. And then I got, I returned the doormat from H&M Home and got these little coasters, which are so cute. And of course the color is perfect. Honestly, H&M Home is doing such an amazing job. Like their stuff is so good and it's so different and modern, but unique at the same time. Like I definitely will be picking up more pieces for the house in H&M Home because the pricing is, definitely reasonable but the pieces are just so unique and to me they're really beautiful so i also wanted to talk about i didn't tell you guys about our spices drawers yesterday so i got these little stands from ikea and they were super cheap and they fit perfectly in our drawer i will put them on the screen now so you can see the name. So I got those and I'll probably get another one for this drawer because we have so many spices. And this is actually a drawer, which is really cool because it's a spice drawer and then you have all of your dressings on the bottom with dressing holders so they don't go flying around. But anyway, I also ordered the little jars. I'll put them on the screen from Amazon just so I can have everything be in cohesive jars and it looks clean and tidy so i'll be getting those probably after this video goes up so i'll be doing that as well for these spices just to make everything aesthetic and clean about the recycling bin this will be returned of course i picked the one that is all dented and broken and doesn't even function properly so that will be returned and honestly i don't even like it in the space because the dishwasher is right there and to have to move that out of the way every time we're trying to get into the dishwasher just seems a little dumb <laughs> so i honestly think we'll probably just put a bin in the yard and just have the pet out there just because that makes way more sense than to have something in the kitchen that takes up so much space and it's really not that necessary I'm gonna end the vlog here. That is the complete kitchen update. If I obviously purchase anything else and once I do decide on a coffee machine, I will definitely update you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you do consider subscribing because that really does help me create more content for you guys. I hope you are excited for the next couple of vlogs in the house. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me and picking out some stuff for the new kitchen, and I hope you join me for my next one. Bye, guys.